Welcome back to our course, Operating Systems Concepts, 10th edition, by Silbershots, Gagney, and Galvin, published by Wiley Publishing. In the last lesson, we were introduced to the idea of logical addresses and physical addresses. Logical addresses are addresses that are created as the program is compiled or as it's loaded or as it is running, depending upon which option is being used. Physical addresses are those physical hardware addresses in RAM that have an addressable identification. In this lesson, we're going to begin discussing the hardware unit that is responsible for handling this binding of addresses. In other words, binding those logical addresses to actual physical addresses in the computer system. So let's begin. The runtime mapping from virtual or logical to physical addresses is done by a hardware device called a memory management unit. We can choose from many different methods to accomplish such mapping. For the time being, the authors illustrate this mapping with a simple memory management unit as you see up here on the slide. It's a generalization of the base register scheme that we talked about earlier. The base register is now called a relocation register. The value of the base register is added to every address created by the user process at the time the address is sent to memory. You can see this in the figure on the right. In this example, if the base is at 14,000, physical address 14,000, then an attempt by the user to address logical location 0 is dynamically relocated to physical location 14,000. An access to logical or virtual location 346 is mapped to physical location 14,346. The user program never accesses the real physical addresses. The program can create a pointer to location 346, store it in memory, manipulate it, and compare it with other addresses, all as the number 346. Only when it is used as a memory address is it relocated relative to the base register. The user program deals with logical addresses. The memory mapping hardware converts those logical addresses into physical addresses. The final location of a referenced memory address is not determined until the reference is made. We now have two different types of addresses. We have virtual addresses in the range of zero to whatever the maximum number of virtual addresses are in the program. And we have physical addresses in the range of R plus zero to R plus that maximum number, where the base value R is that like that 14,000 in our example. The user program generates only logical addresses and thinks that the process runs in memory location from zero to that max. However, these logical addresses must be mapped to physical addresses before they can be used. Think of this for a minute. This scheme allows a program to run on any physical device regardless of the physical address space of that device. The memory management unit translates all the logical addresses to those of the physical computer. The concept of a logical address space that is bound to a separate physical address space is central to proper memory management. Our discussion so far has only talked about the program as if we're loading the entire thing into memory at once. In the next lesson, we're going to discuss an idea of how a program can be loaded in modules. So let's take a break here. Go on, take care of your whatever you need to take care of. Update your study guide. And when you're ready, come on back and we will continue.